Okay, we just arrived here at Wolf by Vanderpump. What are your first thoughts? My first thoughts is that it looks super dope. We took a little walk inside. They got crazy chandeliers. They got a nice fireplace. I don't know. I don't know what to expect, but it's looking good. You can tell Lisa and her team put a lot of thought into just how it looks. So we're excited to be able to get that on camera for you and to be able to taste how the food is. Yeah, it's definitely a vibe over here. It's giving like Las Vegas vibes as far as creativity, you know, right here in South Lake Tahoe. So that's big because South Lake Tahoe, they don't got too many restaurants that are super creative. I mean, as far as uh, over here, they got Hell's Kitchen and now they got Vanderpump. So. Yes. Ooh, okay. It's giving rich and I like it. So. Yeah. We're gonna go see. Let's go. Okay, so they've got us in this like secluded little area with a fireplace. It has these nice luxurious couches. And this should hopefully be enough tables to get the food that we're wanting and the food that we want to be able to show you guys. So we're ready to see this. Okay, so so far I'm kind of overlooking this menu. It looks like they have like from the garden, like salads, wolf bites, smaller, smaller meals for the pack. I'm assuming that's um, appetizers from the kitchen. And these are all like your main entree. This is like dinner. And then I was looking at their drinks because obviously we gotta get a drink. And they have like signature drinks, beers, bottled beers, wines by the glass, um, cocktails, martinis. They have a really big drink selection and you can even get boozy milkshakes or drink your dessert honestly i wish i had a big enough stomach to eat this all and drink this all but i'm just gonna try and pick the best that i think sounds good and and get it for you guys so this sure? right here you guys is the cry wolf here at wolf by vanderpump oh my gosh wow thank you so much What's the alcohol in this again? Ooh, it smells so good. This is a smoked maple Manhattan. It's gonna come with a bullet wrap. So here I got the Cry Wolf. This is gonna be my honest review. As you can see, as far as the presentation, it was A1. Now when I smell it, you can smell the maple just. And you right can off smell the like the smoke, huh? As you can see, it looks like a little bit of rosemary in there or something. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little taste. Yeah, let us know. Ooh. It's so smooth. It All right, now I'm gonna give you my first taste of the cry bowl. It's like juice. It's like maple syrup and juice form. This is so good, I love it. I'm not even capping either. It tastes delicious. You can taste the maple. You can definitely taste like the pineapple rum and and it's super sweet and dangerously good. And this one's called the... Sheep's Clothing. It's the Jalapeno Strawberry Martini. Jalapeno Strawberry Martini. Thank yes, you. You're very welcome. Thank you so much. Of course. This is cotton candy <laughs> with gold flakes. Excuse me? First, it's strawberry. It's definitely edible. strawberry daiquiri. It tastes like a melted strawberry daiquiri, but that jalapeno hits your throat and it gives you that little spice. It's delicious. All right, here's the first taste. I'm not really a sweet person as far as sweets, but you know, it looks good. It looks very presentable. I'm gonna skip the, you know, cotton candy. I'm gonna give it a sip. <laughs> smells good. I never would think something sweet and spicy together would taste hella good. Now this is fire. Wow, thank you. This is the Nana's Pecan Pie. First of all, I'm gonna try the pecan brittle because why not? I don't, I'm not sure what that is, but we're gonna try this. Okay, 
Okay, that's really good. Super sweet. Oh my god, that's so good. I'm probably gonna eat that all. And now we're gonna try the drink. It smells like orangey vanilla y. Orangish vanilla flavor. I can taste the vanilla. I can't really taste the orange as much as I can smell it. So I, I taste more scotch and vanilla. But it's super smooth. Um, I wouldn't mind drinking this um, every time I came here. Like, all these drinks are super smooth and taste really good. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a sip of bananas, pecan pie. Ooh, it's strong. Is it? It's strong, but it's good. It's yeah. not too strong where it takes your breath away, right? Yeah, no, nah, not at all. And you really taste the hints of citrus right here. Yeah. This is the Huff and Puff. Comes in a wolf head, which is really cool. Wow, and it has that smokiness that comes out. Very nice. Thank you. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to do the honors of taking the first sip of the Huff and Puff. Blood orange, old fashioned. You can really smell the smokiness in there. A little, uh, little orange peel in there. I'm going to go ahead and taste it. It's different for sure. It tastes like almost like grapefruit. You can taste the smoke in there. 1 to 10. What are you rating it? It's an acquired taste. All right, one me more. Personally, though, one to ten, I'd give it a six. Out of the out of the three drinks that you've drank so far, or out four, right? Three, huh? yeah. Out of four, out, out of the four three. drinks you drink so far, but what I, is your rating? Like, where does that stand? Number one being the best, four being your least favorite. Four, my least favorite. Like I said, you have to have an acquired taste for it. It's <laughs> good, but hey, it's not really what I want. We'll okay. let you try it. All right. Okay, so G said this was four on his rankings of the drinks that we had, so. I definitely smell that like brown sugar, orange, and smokiness, which is a weird combination when I say it out loud. That's different. I taste the smokiness more than anything, and maybe slightly the brown sugar, but it's not bad. I do agree with him though. This is this was my least favorite out of the four. But it was still good. If you try it, if you like smoky drinks, try it. You might like it. The smoked wings. Wow. Thank you so very much. You guys much. looking good? Thank yeah, awesome. thank you. Enjoy. Looks good. The smoked bourbon Jidori boneless wings. So this is a cornflake battered spicy bourbon buffalo glaze with hickory smoke table side. So it looks really good. Oh, I'm glad there's more in there because I was going to say chicken wing. <laughs> so I'm going to try their wings first. We got to get a generous dip. Okay. I like that the inside is not dry. I hate a dry piece of chicken. The outside is the perfect crunch. I'm not even kidding. It's like they use, I think they actually do use cornflakes. Do you see that? And it's so crunchy. The sauce is like a sweet buffalo. Very good. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a good dip. Ooh, it's hot too. That hot sauce is fire. Fire. Literally, huh? it almost took my breath. <laughs> it's good though, I like it. Okay, so here you guys, we got the famous goat cheese balls, which is the golden fried chevre hot honey and Napa cabbage with pear slaw. That looks fire. So they have this at every Vanderpump. They just put their own like little spin at this hot honey sauce. I'm gonna bite half of it so you can see it. That's the goat cheese. My favorite part about that is that hot honey and that perfect fry. Oh, that's good. The crunch on the outside, nice soft cheese in the middle. And that sauce it gives it a good kick, man, a little chili kick. Honestly, it's fire. So far, it's my favorite appetizer. It almost tastes like a high-end like pizza bite or something. It's hella good though. 
We have the caviar snacks, which is artesian caviar, crispy cast iron potatoes, and lemon creme fraiche. Everything that you see, you taste it. You go through it. Caviar okay, snack, baby. It's like a baked potato with a little bit of caviar. On it. I like it though. It's different, but it's good though. Yeah. It's good though. I like it. There we go. So wagyu frites for you folks. Thank you. And then we got a wolf smash burger. This is the wagyu with truffle fries. That's that is the wagyu frites with truffle fries, and then this is the wolf burger. It's made with ground wagyu with ground mustard, ketchup, and some fries. Thank you. Hope you folks enjoy. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Food. You get stuck. Man. This is a Bordelais red wine sauce, and this right here is a horseradish crema. So, G's gonna give us our first reaction taste. Alright, <laughs> slap that right in there. There you go. Medium rare, it looks good. Nice grill on the outside. I'm gonna try this. Yeah, no, it's good. It's cooked to perfection. It's not dry. It's not undercooked. I think it tastes good. Nice, nice sear on the outside. We'll try the fry. Some horse radish. Crema. <laughs> Get a little whip of that. Oh. It's all right. We'll just double Party stack Party foul. <laughs> French fries. It's got a good fry on it. Nice and soft in the middle. That crema, I love it. But me, I like horseradish. I don't know, babe. She doesn't really like horseradish, so I might be too biased. So I'm gonna try this Wagyu with Bordelais. Mm. That Wagyu is delicious. That red wine sauce is very good. It, it pairs perfectly with that Wagyu meat. So good. Well, I'm gonna try a truffle fry. We're gonna... Get a nice, good, generous horseradish crema. No, that's good. The horseradish gives it like a little kick, but the pairing is perfect. That is so good. Bacon wrapped asparagus, as you can see. The bacon is nicely cooked. Got the asparagus in there, looking nice and crisp. Take a little, a little bit half of that. <laughs> right, so here's the smash burger. We got some crisp onions. It's a uh, Vanderpump's aioli sauce all through here. It looks nice and toasted too. Got the cheese melted right there. Looks good. So we're gonna go ahead and dress it up. We got a little bit of tomatoes right here. We'll just slap that on there. Slap that on there. We got a good piece of. It looks like green leaf lettuce maybe. Go ahead and fold that in there so we can pile it up. Now I just want you to see how tall this burger is stacked. It's double patty smash burger. We got a little stone ground mustard. I'm gonna go ahead and try that. Some ketchup. Just rub that right through. Get a good slab of that right there. Not too heavy on the ketchup. Keep it light. Yeah, you got some pickles, cheese, double patty, grilled onions, tomato, lettuce. For a smash burger, it's stacked tall, so I'm gonna have to smash it down. Put all those juices. Oh my god. All right. Oh yeah, that's a juicy <laughs> burger. Mm, that's a juicy burger. Cause smash burgers, <clears throat> it's usually like just the cheese and the patty. But here you got the tomatoes, you got the pickles, the onions, you got the lettuce. On oh, a nice bun too. It's good. All right, my turn. Damn, seems impossible. It is so good. You 
gotta try this if you come here. Here at Deep Dish S'more. Please enjoy. Deep Dish S'more, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Wow. That looks phenomenal. I just wanna say, look at the teddy grams on there though. See what I'm saying when I say like, the thought that they put behind their food and just their decoration and their drinks. Here we go. I think it's um, a cookie, beneath, but it's s'mores. It's so good. Gotta throw a teddy gram on there. And that right there. Fire. That right there. Who made this? No. Nope. Who, who made this? <laughs> you want to talk to the chef? Who, who made this? <laughs> that right there is good. One out of ten. I'll say 11. Ooh, and you can taste that teddy gram. The cinnamon teddy gram. What the So fuck? good, huh? Oh, bro. Cut, you guys. Cut the camera. I gotta go in. I'm gonna cut the camera because I'm about to go in on this dessert, but this has overall been such a great experience. As you can see, they were so kind to be able to keep us here after hours and allowed us to be able to continue our food review and just keep drinking and eating. So, Wolf by Vanderpump in Lake Tahoe. We appreciate you guys so much. We will be back. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys were amazing. Hello and experience. We appreciate the whole staff. Everybody been very nice and very, you know, just, you know, nice. Just, I, I can't even say anymore, man. I have no complaints. Food, 10 out of 10. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what, we'll definitely be back. Thank you, we'll Vanderpump. Thank you. thank you so much. Hope Peace. you enjoy this. I just want to shout out Lisa Vanderpump. Um, we're here at Wolf by Vanderpump. And the details in how she designed this restaurant is phenomenal. Look at this. Look at the details of the, but look at, that's like a suede. It says Wolf. It's so nice. They have wolves on all of the napkins. And then look at these chairs, you guys. The wolf fur. The amount of time and thought that she put into... <laughs> These are antlers. These are antlers with crystals hanging off of the chandelier. This is more, more seating. It was just done so perfectly. Like, I really appreciate this restaurant and the thought that they put behind it, behind the food, the drinks, and just the vibe and the way it looks. So, I'm a fan. Look at how beautiful the details of everything is. I just wanna walk you guys around the restaurant before we head out, just so you can get a feel of this one-of-a-kind vibe that they offer. So these are actually marble wolves. And we were actually talking to Jason, who I believe runs this restaurant. And these are jade lamps. $20,000 a piece, you guys. That's real jade, $20,000 per lamp. That's crazy. I'm wrong, but I think this might be Wolf, her grandson, who she named this restaurant after. How cute! That is adorable! That is so cool. Okay, so my personal experience coming to Wolf by Vanderpump, a hell of an experience. As far as staff, 10 out of 10. Food, 10 out of 10. The looks of it just general 10 out of 10 I liked it I'm very pleased I haven't been to the one in uh, Vegas but after today I'm definitely gonna go for sure I just wanted to give a quick shout out to our wonderful staff members Jason was so nice so accommodating Senya was so nice she was able to give us everything that we asked for and more she was the sweetest person and was able to even give us her recommendations as far as food and drinks 10 out of 10 experience um it was just we we're in awe of it all so we appreciate you lisa 
Pandora, your whole family, and uh, we'll be back for sure. So we'll see you guys.